Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about Stekelberg model of Diopoli. This model is given by German economist Stekelberg in 1934. And this model is extension of Cornot model. And this model is based on sequential game. Sequential game means players are divided between leaders and followers. Leader will make a first move in order to maximize their profit and followers will just follow their leader or we can say that follower will respond according to strategy of leader in order to maximize their own profit. Now we will see assumptions. There are two forms. Their product is homogeneous means their product is exactly same. There is same cost and demand functions of both forms and this model is based on sequential game. Now we understand this model with the help of this diagram. Here we assume we have only two forms A and B. On x axis we have output of A and y axis we have output of B. This red curve shows B's reaction curve. B's reaction curve means respond of B to the strategy of A. This black curve shows A's reaction curve. A's reaction curve means respond of A to the strategy of B. First of all, we assume A is a leader form and B is a follower form. If A is leader form, that means A will make a first move in market and B will just follow to the strategy of A or we can B will just respond to the strategy of A. One most important thing about this model, according to this model, this A, leader form, is very experienced form because it has been in the market for many years. And based on their experience, A firm can predict in advance the respond of B firm. And based on the respond of B firm, A can decide its profit maximization output. Please listen carefully. According to this model, this A leader firm is very experienced firm because it has been in the market for many years. Based on their experience, A firm can predict in advance the respond of B firm. And based on respond of B firm, A firm can decide its uh, profit maximization output. Same thing we will see with the help of this diagram. This B curve shows B's reaction curve. B's reaction curve means respond of B to the strategy of A. This respond A firm can uh, predict in advance because A firm is very experienced firm. And based on this respond, A will decide its profit maximization output. Now we will see how based on reaction of B, A will decide its profit maximization output. Here you can see P1, P2 and P3 are ISO profit curve of A, which shows the profit of A. At E point, you can see lowest point of ISO profit curve of A touch the B re B's reaction curve. That's why this E point will be called Stekelberg equilibrium point. That means at this E point, A will decide its profit maximization output based on respond of B. So at this E point, you can see output of A is OA, but output of B is OB. Output of B is less than the output of A. Obviously, B will produce less because B is a follower firm. But A will produce more because A is a leader firm. A it been in the market for many years and B is just new firm. That's why B will produce less but A will produce more. So E will be called Stekelberg equilibrium point. At this point A will decide its profit maximization output based on respond of B. A cannot decide its output at this point because this is the lowest ISO profit curve and lowest ISO profit curve give less amount of profit. No doubt this uh, ISO profit curve will give more profit but this is not according to reaction of B's, B's firm. So E will be called Stekelberg equilibrium point at this E point A will decide its profit maximization output based on respond of B. Now we will assume B is leader firm and A is a follower firm. B will take first move in market, A just uh, follow strategy of uh, B and uh, B is a uh, leader firm, obviously very experienced firm, that's why B can predict in advance the respond of A and based on respond of uh, A, B can decide its own profit maximization output. So here you can see this black curve shows A's reaction curve and P1, P2, P3 are B's iso profit curve. At E2 point you can see 
आइसो लोएस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ आइसो प्रॉफिट कर टच रिएक्शन कर सो दिस ई टू विल बी कॉल्ड स्टेकल वर्ग इक्वली बिर पॉइंट एट दिस पॉइंट बी विल डिसाइड इट्स प्रॉफिट मैक्सिमाइजेशन आउटपुट एट ई टू पॉइंट यू कैन सी आउटपुट ऑफ बी इज ओ बी एंड आउटपुट ऑफ ए इज ओ ए यू कैन सी आउटपुट ऑफ ए इज लेस एज कम्पेयर टू आउटपुट ऑफ बी बिकॉज नाउ बी इज लीडर फॉर्म ए इज जस्ट फॉलो अवर फॉर्म दैट्स वाई आउटपुट ऑफ ए इज लेस सो ई टू विल बी कॉल्ड स्टेकल वर्ग इक्वली बिर पॉइंट वेन बी इज लीडर एंड ए इज फॉलो फॉर्म नाउ यू सी क्रिटिसिजम दिस मॉडल सेट लोअर आउटपुट एंड प्रॉफिट फॉर फॉलो अवर फॉर्म बट इट कैन पॉसिबल फॉलो अवर फॉर्म प्रोड्यूस मोर एंड अन मोर प्रॉफिट less choices for customer if one firm just copy other firm then obviously there is very less choices for customer lack of innovation one firm blindly follow other firm what's about innovation what's about creating something new and the real market is very dynamic in real market there are so many changes so many ideas so many technology it is not possible one firm just to follow other firm so this is all about stackelberg model i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye